Trouble finding employment leads one Cleveland man to try to clear his name and sue the Bradley County Sheriff's Department. Good evening, I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Joshua. A home caretaker says a family accused him of stealing thousands of dollars worth of jewelry. James Torres joins us now. He learned that the case against Ricky Stevenson is far from over. James. Josh Latricia Stevenson says Bradley County Sheriff Eric Watson defamed him by calling him scum in interviews about his arrest. Since then, he says he hasn't been able to find work like he used to. A court dropped all of Stevenson's charges last August, but today we learned this case may be far from over. Today, Ricky Stevenson and his attorney John Wolf stood in front of the Bradley County Courthouse in downtown Cleveland. To tell people that this man who was so scorned by the officials of Bradley County is now a free man, yet he's not the same. Stevenson says a family hired him to be a caretaker for an elderly man. Months after working for the family, he says they accused him of theft and abuse and he was arrested. Allegations, Stevenson says, are false. His lawyer says in interviews following the arrest, Sheriff Eric Watson called Stevenson scum. He did it basically just as for politics, you know, just to parade up there to posture and to make him look like he's the, the guardian of Bradley County. In a statement, the Sheriff's Department confirmed the court did dismiss charges, but says they are still investigating the case. Stevenson says even though he doesn't face those charges anymore, it's still difficult to find other jobs after the arrest. I don't think that there was a grand jury indictment. According to the district attorney's office, it's true. A grand jury has not yet heard Stevenson's case, but News Channel 9 learned today the DA office does intend to present one to the grand jury. I've done this for about 15, 16 years and uh, like I said, I've cared for some of the most prominent people in Cleveland. Never had this problem until it went south with these, these people. Even though the Sheriff's Department's investigation is still open, the DA's office told me today their investigation is complete. All of Stevenson's charges were also expunged. Josh. James, thank you. Stevenson and his attorney say they hope to file a malicious prosecution lawsuit against the Sheriff's Department by April 1st.